My name is Catherine Stowell. We have recently expanded so that you can now come in and put into practice everything you've been learning on our online courses or back in your own practices. We have the latest scanning equipment here and a range of different makes and models. So from entry level right up to the most advanced, we can get a great range of animals in here, dogs and cats, and you can spend some time actually hands on with the machines and with the animals. Hello. I'm Virginia Lewis Fuentes and I'm a Professor of Veterinary Cardiology at the Royal Veterinary College in London. And one of my passions is echocardiography. And I think for a long time cardiologists have felt that echocardiography is something that specialist cardiologists ought to do and it's not something that should be done in first opinion practice. But the value of echocardiography is so great that it would be a, a tragedy to miss out on the information that can be obtained with a little bit of echocardiography skills. I've known Virginia for several years, but it's only the last couple of years that I've been lucky enough to be working closely with her at the RVC. And I, I asked her if she would run this course with me. Didn't think she would say yes, but was absolutely delighted that she agreed. I think it's really important to have somebody of her calibre here. She's not only an amazing echocardiographer and a world leading cardiologist, but she's even authoring the next set of guidelines in this whole subject. So to have her here on the day is just a real privilege for everybody involved. She's also an amazing teacher of echocardiography. She can just put into words exactly what you need to do with your probe in a way that nobody else I've ever met can do. Hello, I'm Nacho. I'm working as GVP in Hinkley Best for Pet. I really enjoy the day today. Uh, I think the, the tutor, the teacher are so flexible, uh, full of, of knowledge. They, they could adapt to any, any need of any st student today. Also, I could enjoy doing a lot of different ultrasound with different machines in dogs, cats, healthy and, and with some pathologies. Then I think today was a very positive day for me. In fact, I would like to repeat it. So today we've spent time scanning lots of different animals, um, people that want to improve their echo skills, but are in first opinion practice. And I think it's really important to me that we try and help people improve their echo skills and have the confidence to take on echocardiography and practice in their own clinics because the value to our patients is enormous. Today has helped me to just um, go through everything again to have the reassurance of a specialist that we are doing a good job and that the, the views are good and as well some things that I'm struggling with, some other views um, and some things that I wasn't sure about how to diagnose something, um, the professor has helped me and showed me how to do it. So I think the course is really good to, uh, for beginners. You have after you finish the course, you will know how to obtain all the views um, that's going to be enough for you to do um, to have a diagnosis. Is this an animal in heart failure or not? Um, and just to know what to do with the case going forward. Of course, our in-person sessions are supported by my online course. Some people choose to do the online modules first. They're spoken through by me, so it's all video clips and you go through eight different modules all on different topics and that can prepare you for a hands-on scanning day like this. So much of echocardiography is actually image recognition so getting that part done first and showing up on the day already knowing what images you're looking for can be a great advantage. So if you think you might be interested in taking up echocardiography come and enrol on our courses. We'll give you shortcuts to improving your imaging and help you improve your skills with a, a very practical, hands-on approach. We look forward to seeing you.